Uh, my name is Dr. Victor Shikuku uh, from Kaimo Friends University College. I hold a PhD in chemistry, physical and environmental chemistry, where we're interested in the fate of different environmental contaminants in food matrices, in water, soil, and their remediation techniques. My, my greatest concern concerning uh, the use of pesticides is the persistence in the environment that is in soil and water and air and also their occurrence in food. Uh, these are toxic chemicals. If they can kill pests, they can kill humans, depending on the doses, of course. And therefore, uh, this should be concerns to us. Uh, one of the greatest challenges for academicians is uh, having the space to articulate their findings and, uh, and data. And therefore, while we have done a lot of research on the occurrence of pesticides in food and water, an initiative like this one uh, is a major platform. And therefore, hoping that uh, the publications reach their audiences. This subject should concern every single individual because number one, we all eat food. And therefore, food safety is of concern to every single individual. If we cannot guarantee the safety of our foods, then it means that uh, we do not take our own lives seriously. Uh, secondly, the government and the policymakers and regulators have a mandate to the citizenry in that uh, they need to protect the well-being of Kenyans. And therefore, I think uh, they should not shy away from uh, having laws and uh, rules and uh, regulations that are even more stringent if they are for the good of the people. And therefore, I will really urge that uh, we should exercise more rigor. We have nothing to lose by banning some of these chemicals. There will be no catastrophe if, say, 10 ingredients have been banned. We have alternatives and we can use different methods as a synergy to still have safety, environment and safe food. Also, lastly, as a, a member of the task force that was involved in compiling the evidence and the data on the pesticides used in Kenya, I would really wish to implore uh, PCPB to look seriously on the dossier. And if they have concerns and questions, it is important that they also engage us and so that we can share even much more that we could not put in writing so that we can have a better and a clear understanding of the issues at hand.